morning, good evening and a good afternoon YouTube from a sunny, sunny Galway. I think this is the first time I showed you the promenade, especially from a drone, which is also the last time you saw it because I crashed my drone right after the shots you just saw. But this is what it is. We'll get a new one, don't worry. First thing we're gonna talk about is Irish girls and fake tan, right? Hi guys, I'm glowing and I love fake tan. <laughs> She uses it, but very rarely, and a very, very, how do you call it, the... the a light layer. A light layer of one. <laughs> Some girls here, women, they look like a, a fucking orange. That's how orange they are. It's unbelievable. On that point, sun here, actually, even though it gets 23, 24, and they call that a heat wave. I'm gonna talk about that later. It does get very hot, actually, and you can easily burn. 100% true. Comparing here to Croatia with our 20-ish temperatures, it's like hot here. It's hard to explain. It's like burning. Like when I'm in Croatia, oh, I said I wouldn't do like again and here I am with my life. When I'm in Croatia in the summertime, I feel warm and I feel uncomfortable, but I don't feel like I'm cooking. Like when I'm in Ireland on a, on a like this week has been beautiful. It's been like 25 degrees, 24. And I know probably people that are watching this might think, oh, that's not very toasty. That's just like cool. Fake tanning. I think as Irish people, we're being pale uh, is not very cool nowadays for people. And uh, even recently in work and stuff, everybody literally has been making fun of me because I'm so white. So when we were like, when I was younger, everyone used to be like, oh, you're so pale. So then you would put on fake tan and then everyone would be like, oh, you look so goldy and bronze. You look so like way better. So I think it's a mentality thing. I think we're right. I'm blending in with this van. <laughs> My phone. Um, I think yes, as a young ginger white person here in Ireland, I think we're conditioned to believe that fake tan is the way forward in life. color guides we tend to go on the extra ultra dark we, and I don't really know why we find that so attractive you have dirty hands you have lines and for some reason it's like they don't see this oh it's especially bad when they don't do it properly and then you can see marks like between fingers it's still white and everything else is like a rotten orange <laughs> I, I really don't understand it myself and the streaky legs all the lines everywhere it's it's, it's I want to ask people, like when I like today, seeing people with all these streaks, I wanted to go over them and be like, are you blind? <laughs> How do you think this is more attractive than being your natural whiteness? But I think, yeah, at the moment, in this time, this is attractive, apparently. So I'm hoping that that weeds out and maybe we will learn to embrace our natural skins and be more confident. Without changing a subject too much, temperature hits 21, 22, in Ireland, it's a heat wave. They call it a heat wave, swear to God, which is, for me as a Croatian, ridiculous. I think it's ridiculous to anyone who, who comes from a country that actually has a proper summer. But Penny, for your thoughts? It is. You just don't understand. These partners doesn't understand what a heat wave is. When you're raised on the Emerald Isle, you all know that this time, when it's like this, it's out with the barbecues, out with the salad sandwiches, out with factor 50. <laughs> when it's like this, everyone is in great form. We feel like this is the best place on, on earth. During the week in work, you're gonna run into a tree, so be careful. <laughs> everyone was like, oh, it's mighty weather, isn't it? It's great, isn't it? That's all I've been hearing all day. It's like Ireland to give birth. Now, to be perfectly clear, I'm not saying it's not warm. It is warm and I really love it. It's really nice, but <laughs> to call it a heat, heat wave, Come on guys. Anyways, you know it's summer in Ireland when you see everyone eating their third 99 of the day at 11 a.m. What's a 99 you ask? Well, let me tell you. It's an ice cream. They call it a 99 for God knows why, but there's a story behind it. Apparently, majority of the ice cream sellers and makers in the 50s were Italians and Italian king has a head an elite bodyguard and there was a 99 of them. So whenever something was elite or very, very, very good, they would call it a 99. And that is why the ice cream here is called a 99. Okay, my theory was completely off my whole life. Ice cream can give you diarrhea super easy. So if it's not kept at optimum temperature, you can get the scutters from it. So I always thought that that 99 was like, you know, a, a, a lol name for it, that it wasn't actually a name. Cause I thought it could be 99% chance that you might shit yourself. 
<laughs> I think my theory is better about the elite bodyguards and the kings and everything. No, 99% shit yourself is way better. Well, comment section, come on. Is it the shit theory or the king theory? Up to you now. Can we add something to the video? So someone was so creative and they potted all of this. This is dill. This is lemon balm. Rosemary. This is like a whole pot of herbs. Schmel. One thing that still surprises me here during summer is how long the day is. It's unbelievable. It's 18, 19 hours of daylight, I think, something like that. I get up at five for work. It's day and it's during the June month. It's, it's almost until midnight, something like that. At 11 p.m. it's still not completely dark outside. Even she is not used to it and she lives here for over 30 years now. I think we have this conversation nearly every night during the summer. I'm like, Jesus Christ, it's very bright, isn't it? <laughs> It's so annoying though when you're trying to sleep like and then you have this like flashed and lighting <laughs> at about 10, 11 o'clock at night. Literally, the longest day is 21st of June, I think. And it's literally day at, I don't know, 11.30 p.m. It's still day. I could like be Yakov, as you know, goes to Croatia during the summer and then like I would be, you know, sending him a message and he'd be, you know, letting me know like it's pitch dark outside. Yeah. Passed out. <laughs> Bit drunk <laughs> in the dark and I'm like, what the hell? So yeah, she would tell me I'm day drinking at 11 p.m. I mean, <laughs> that sign for beer reminds me beer gardens in Ireland during summer as a, are a must go. And you don't necessarily need to drink just beer there. It's just a nice place to hang out, to meet people, to talk to people, to just to go outside of your house, your living room and your comfort zone if you want. I think I was mad to think that the tights were going to protect my legs from the sun because we're getting a little bit crispy. <laughs> beer gardens, right. Beer gardens are the the best place to be. On, well, actually, no, I take that back. For me, I don't think beer gardens is the best place to go. It's too hot, you're too exposed. It's like being out in the Arizona desert. Okay, so what would you recommend people to, for summers in Ireland? To go inside where there's like plenty of seats and air con, dark, shady, safe. <laughs> I think they're great. She does like it because she doesn't do beer, but yeah, we'll educate her. Yeah, we should probably talk about the drone a little bit because we did lose it today. So I'm gonna. She had a whole uh, a roller coaster, roller coaster. That's how we say. It, that's it. Of emotions. I don't know. Somehow I just when I got the signal lost message, I just knew it was gone, and I didn't really got got upset. But her, I'm gonna let her tell you who her story. I don't do well with loss. Anything that's like belongs to Yaakov or me or my family, if they lose it, I think I lose a part of my sanity. <laughs> so what happened when Yaakov lost signal? I think I felt my stomach land in my shoes. I felt such... First I felt like I have told him we go to Salt Hill. I think it'd be the best idea ever. And then we end up losing his drone. So I felt partially responsible for the drone situation even though I truly believe it was a seagull and if I ever went into that seagull he's not dead because I would never hurt an animal but I would definitely like slap him <laughs> so there was that and then there was pure panic so then I was running up and down the beach like an idiot I was going to go into the water in full <laughs> full gear to try and go snorkeling for his his drone and he was so relaxed and chilled and just okay not relaxed and chilled but he was kind of like this this is it. It is what it is. We were there for at least about maybe an hour or so. And then when I literally, I was like, I'm not leaving until we find this. So Yakov asked the guy, he was a bit of an a-hole. Uh, what do you call him? What are they called? Lifeguard. Lifeguard. If he, had, uh, if he had found it. And he had. But our poor little drone had an awful landing. But it had closure, even though it was broken and we found it. So yeah, my emotions were all like... Boop, 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 boop. Try not to hold me down. subject of sun guys I just want to say how important it is to wear sunblock I know as guys out there they just feel like no I'm too masculine for sunblock but that's crazy you get burned you can end up like feeling really unwell and end up maybe in the hospital or blisters or all of that rubbish why does a banana put on sunblock because it peels <laughs> I wrote a manual on how to fall down the stairs it's a step-by-step -step guide <laughs> here every week guys Tuesday sometimes and most Sundays
And that was our day. Some of the bad stuff, some of the good stuff. I think it's good. I'm gonna get a new drone, so I'm excited about that now. What did you do? She just... I, what did you just do? Don't sit on a bare ass on the wall, it's very hot. <laughs> she jumped from that wall what? as it was a metal plate which was burning hot. My buns are toasted. <laughs> Anyways, that was our summer in Ireland day. So if you liked this, press the like button. If you didn't, press the dislike button. If you loved it, press the subscribe button. Check our Patreon and we'll see you in the next one. I love you guys. See you in the next one. Right. Wear your sunblock. Go. Drink two liters of water daily. Go away, girl. Carmela Margot.